my brothers and my sisters, one day the phones will be ringing. One day the phones will be ringing. Mobile phones will be ringing. Landlines will be ringing. Maybe nowadays we can even say Twitter and Facebook will be active with some news. So sometimes if you have a phone call at say 3 in the morning, does your phone normally ring at 3 in the morning? Does it ring at 3 in the morning? No. So if your phone rings at 3 in the morning, what do you think it will be about? Can someone answer me? Some bad news. Do you know that one day the phones will be ringing with news about you? Have you ever thought of that? One day the phones will ring and when someone answers it, they will say bad news. What's the bad news? Such and such a person has just passed away. That name will be yours. You have to think of this. We have to because every time we get news, we see a message, such and such a person passed away. We say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. May Allah grant them Jannah and so on. One day the name will be mine and yours. We cannot run away from that. This is the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept it. Every single one has to go through the door. Everyone has to go through the door. We know the common saying that says, Death is a door that every single person shall go through. So, some people look at it and they are very fearful. You know, I don't want to die. But even if you don't want to die, you are still going to die. So that's not an option. It's not an option. You can die young or you can die a little bit later. Some people are given a little bit of age. When they become of age, for example, sometimes they are bedridden. They lose their weight. And then they go. Those have a bigger opportunity to turn to Allah than the others who might have gone suddenly. Suddenly, person is gone. Maybe he didn't have a chance to even say goodbye, to say anything, obviously. Some people, they prepare their will in advance. They talk to people, look, I'm not feeling well. You know, I, I might a few weeks, I might die. This might happen. This is my will. This is this. This is this. I'm old or I'm so and so. So they are preparing for it. They ask Allah's forgiveness and Allah forgives them by the will of Allah. By His will, He forgives them. But the question is we have do we have a guarantee that we are going to become old and we will become sick and ill and then we will say goodbye to everyone and then we will die do we have that guarantee yeah. no no matter how old we are a lot of the times somehow we feel in a lot of cases that i will survive not me i won't you know it's not me so it's just a feeling we start thinking me die until we dead, then the others feel me dying and it carries on. And then they die. And then the others say, we die, and then they die. Allahu Akbar. So this is why, how should we look at it? Because if we become scared, we will get depressed. Completely depressed in the sense that we won't even want to go out and eat. Because we're going to say, what's the point of this food? I'm dying. What's the point of getting married? I'm going to die. What's the point of having children? I'm going to die. And then we look at our kids and we say, well, what's the point he's going to die or she's going to die? That is a very depressing way of looking at it. There is a plan of Allah that we need to understand. He wants us to go through a certain type of a life known as the life of this world. It's only one type of life. There is more than one type of life. There is the eternal everlasting life that exists that we shall get into once the temporary life which is roughly 60 to 70 years is over. Then we get into another life. Not in reincarnation, no. But in terms of the eternal life and the resurrection that will happen. There is a difference. Some people believe that if you die, if you led a good life, you become a bird. You become something sweet, something nice, a little gazelle. You know, people look at you and enjoy it, so on. And some people believe that the same people would believe that if you die after having led a bad life, you become a scorpion or a snake. That is reincarnation. In Islam, we believe that is wrong. We believe that is wrong. There is no reincarnation. But there is another life which is known as the life after death. 
the eternal life that is through resurrection when we die this body that I have right now its functions will be over so when someone comes and greets me or greets you or greets at a graveyard it is Allah who makes the individual here but not with these ears because these ears could be already decomposed completely gone this whole body will be gone they say that when a person's body when a person has died there is something interesting that happens if you might have heard me say it your name is no longer connected to your body have you ever thought of that the minute you die your name and your body are separated so say for example someone's name is I'm going to use a common name say for example someone's name is Ismail okay when they die and say they died in that room for example just an example people will not say where is Ismail bring him here they will say where is the body bring it here did you wash the body brother did you enshroud the body did you bury the body your name is irrelevant it's over it's gone why because the name is no longer connected to the body the body was temporary it's gone it's known as the body did you bury the body brother no one ever says did you bury Ismail no one ever says bring Ismail here no they say the body that is very interesting because where is Ismail that's the question well he is gone to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is now in another life and that life is far better than this one it is eternal and it is where he will be getting the good for whatever he has done and by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will forgive his shortcomings where he has gone wrong so it's very important for us to know that as Muslims we should be looking forward to this eternal life via preparation for it how do you prepare for it this afternoon I spoke on truthfulness and how to be truthful to yourself truthful to Allah and the messenger and truthful to those around you and truthful to what you claim you believe we say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh we need to be truthful to that statement so that when we die we will actually get to where we were expecting to get all along may allah grant us paradise so it's a very important topic because many people fear it you know uh, the topic of death is not an easy topic to talk on because it's very dear to the heart everyone loves dear life as they call it everyone wants to cling to life you know if something happens we will spend all our money trying to improve our health because we want to cling to life but we don't realize my brother and my sister there is another life better than this one you know it's like for example we get cozy in a house you know when you live in a house for a while you get cozy so with your eyes closed you can go to the bathroom you can turn on the tap your eyes are closed and you enjoy the shower for example you have everything set you know the, you can get into your bed you have a beautiful sleep you know everything because you like the house you've been staying in this in this house for 20 years so a lot of the times it happens with the women with the sisters that when the husband says look we're buying another house a big house depending if they are very comfortable in this house they will say we don't want to shift and the husband has to market the idea to say you know what there is a better kitchen oh that's that's a good one you know what there is a lot of facility you know what it is like this it is like that and you're marketing this beautiful house in it there is a, there is a, a fountain you know there's a little fish pond as you walk you know there's a bridge that comes and there are lights and there's this and then they, he will take you there and he will show you and even if you're thinking to yourself I'm we're going to move everything we're going to do this we're going to do that and so on and in your heart you don't want to shift because to you your house is comfortable and cozy and everything is good and somehow he might come and say listen we are going oh what a husband mashallah we are going and once you shift there and you realize wow this is such a beautiful house I was just worried about this for nothing yet I've got to a house that is so so good that the air conditioning unit no longer is operated by remote but it's by voice amazing brilliant so you just say 20 degrees and next thing you just hear a sound tiddy and it goes to 20 wow you want water and you say 
You can say, and you can dish out an instruction to the kettle and it starts boiling. Imagine. So what would happen? Before we went there, we were anxious about this place. That Are we really going to go to a nice place? I'd rather stay in this place that I know than to shift to this other place. I can give you one real life example. Those of you who go to Mecca, you know, many years ago, the hotels were different from now. So we became comfortable in some hotels and it was hard for us to shift to the big buildings, you know. And suddenly what happened is we found ourselves with no option but to go into the big buildings and then we said, oh, this place is lovely, subhanallah. So that is how we treat life, real life. We are so comfortable but this is useless compared to what is waiting for us on the other side. But when we get there, we will laugh or, or we may, maybe not the, the term laugh might not be accurate, but we will be surprised to see that what we were fearing is actually far better than what we had in the previous temporary life. Because the life after death is a complete life. It is an everlasting life. There is no fear of death anymore. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.